which different piece of our literature? Does that mean I'm number one? Why are you so close-minded? should be just treated like regular homicide and there's regular always going to be homicide. so how long do you think a woman should be in prison there's going to be like different so there's going to be different extenuating circumstances for each kind of uh, I mean, you know, homicide murder. yeah how long do you think but there's a woman, different but there's but different levels of murder too right how long do you think a woman should be in prison for yeah. having an abortion would you allow me to answer the question is that okay since abortion is murder right. right how long should a woman be in prison how yeah. long would you choose to put a woman a woman inside of a cage uh, to have an ideally, well, so, sorry, in an ideal world where we actually had a functioning good justice system, many abortions should be punished with the death penalty, not necessarily all. <laughs> Do you disagree? If so, why? I admire your consistency. I'll just say I'll that. I appreciate that. I admire your consistency. I try to follow the word of God by God's grace. Not all, though. I bet that's not very fucking po not a very popular opinion, is it? You might say not. That women should be put to death for having an abortion. Yeah. You might say it's got me, uh, it's made me a, an outcast in the Republican Party. You really, you really just hate women, don't you? No, I love them. Obviously. Obviously. What does that mean? You, you love women, so you would put one in prison for having an abortion? If they murdered their baby. What about if they're a murderer? You don't think that we should, do you think we should punish murderers? Should any murder be punished? Man, you hate people, don't you? It sounds like you do because you think they should be put in cages. You see, the same logic is turned back on you easily, man. Let's try to be consistent. I don't think murder and abortion are the same thing. Well, I know, but you think that you think that murder should be punished by the legal system? Yeah. Then you it sounds like you hate people. Yeah, because you hate so you hate people by your logic. Okay. Well, that's my answer to you. No, I don't hate people. I only uh, I just want justice to be done. You would you would force women to get murdered. No, 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 that's called rape. I think rape should be punished with no, the death that's, penalty. that's, that's, that's uh, sex. I'm saying that you're... Yeah, and sex often leads to babies, as you may know. What support is using the, using the power of the state to punish women for choosing not to have murder. Well, for punishing women who murder their babies. That's what I mean. Right, for choosing not to have birth. Well, yeah, if you want to... Euphemisms don't really serve us well here. Yeah, sure. To murder people. You know what I'm doing? There's no aspartame in this. So hey, oh, boy. I gave you three. There you go. What the fuck is up? in uh, 18th century England, um, or William Lloyd Garrison is a name that is kind of known in history class, 19th century American abolitionists of slavery. So I, those guys opposed slavery because they recognized the image of God in black men and women and baby and children. So they said, since black people are made in God's image, just like white people are, why do we say that it's legal to, sorry, unacceptable? and culturally acceptable to enslave them, and exploit them, and destroy them, you know? That's evil and wrong. It's against what the Word of God says. So, in the same way, I recognize the same kind of dehumanizing spirit now directed toward, like, I mean, still, there's, there's racism, yes. I get it. So I'm not, I'm not trying to say that that doesn't exist anymore. I'm saying that there's more people, be, there's more people dying from abortion at this time. The, demon, the dehumanizing spirit has moved from the majority, like, black people to tiny people now. So in the same way, I kind of feel that way. Yeah, I, mean, I, I can understand that. 
But you mind if I gave you a couple pieces of literature to read when you get a chance? Sure. You don't have to right now, but just yeah, remember. Like this one? Thank you. Yeah, I, I told him to give me a gender studies book. Interpret it or something like that. Because I, I, mean, I like Christianity. And I think all around, I think it's good. I feel like it's good. Right? Yeah, I think that people that teach it, yeah. depending on who it is, and it's Yeah, I talked about this with him earlier. And I was like, the same people that are like vegan and like animal lovers and like these communists and like socialists and whatnot, they create some kind of like social moral hierarchy where they can put themselves at the top of it and make themselves feel better than everyone else. And like a lot of Christians do the same thing. Yeah. Or Christians do the same thing where they're like, uh, they like go to church in order to feel better than others. Yeah. And it shows by the way they treat people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that 100%. Yeah. And also, I mean, like it's true that like the, you might say, oh, I, I prefer the, like the, the religion, not the people. Yeah. But man, in these churches, like, so many of them, the people start to influence what the religion is, you know? And it becomes a thing, it morphs under their influence into a thing that it's not, because it's not like just some thing that you download. It's a thing that's experienced and lived out, you know? And the people influence that, and I think it's a tragedy. I mean, even the ch even the churches around here, like, there's not a, if somebody, is, if somebody was like, hey man, everything that you're saying, I totally agree with it. I live here in Tahlequah, I want to follow Jesus, what do I do? I would not tell them to go to any church in this area. May, you know, if you choose to, okay, but I'm going to recommend against it because I don't think that that's useful. You know, they they just make the church into something it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be about repentance of sin, and, and I think that it serves the purposes of the powerful. When I would rather talk to people calmly and reasonably about Jesus offers us freedom from sin. I have sinned many times. I have many sinful temptations. And Jesus is delivering me from them, like, as I live my life, you know, as I ask him for help daily. And Jesus is willing to do the same for anybody else. I have friends who have homosexual desires. And I would yeah. happily over have them over at my house, yeah. you know, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. I feel like that's, like, the big problem is, like, a lot of people are like, I hate gays. Like, I feel like you can, you can disagree on, like, how they love other people, but, like, as a person, I feel like you should... Love that name, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to agree. I feel like you don't have to agree with anybody. Yeah. You know, just because like me and you have completely different views, does not mean I'm going to be up here like yelling at you because that's not going to get anything across. Right. I feel like that's not. It's not logical. Yeah. I but, agree with you about that. Yeah. I don't know. I just wanted to kind of like see like kind of what y'all do, how y'all sure. represent it, and. I think that's good. There are. I can't speak for every like street preacher out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if you've ever seen others. I have. And there are many that I would reject, like any like anything to do with them, you know, because they they do make no attempt at persuasion, a reasonable conversation. They don't tell people that Jesus forgives sinners, you know, and call them to like call them to trust in Christ. It's not like do better. I've literally, you know, I'm I'm acquainted with people, but we're not friends because I I say that they are awful. Yeah. Who go out on who go out on the street and they're like, stop sinning. Yeah. <laughs> That's far from the biblical message. The biblical message is that Jesus rescues sinners. Cry out to him for mercy. And he will deliver us not only from the wrath of God and hell, but also from um, from like the domination of sin in this life. So and we can talk about all the you know the why I think and all that kind of stuff, but like to do that we have to have conversation. And I have to listen to you to hear what your questions and challenges are, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And a lot of the time that's lost. It's sad. No, it is. Right now, his hair is in a big throw. Oh, his hair? He's got glasses yeah, on. Where do you get these posters made? Um, my friend, who is a good graphic designer, made them. That's, like a, that's, a, photo designer that's a photograph. That's a photograph. No, they, they, he takes photos of dead babies and then makes um, eye-catching memes out of them. Is that his Facebook profession? Like, takes pictures of dead babies? That's, that's one thing he does among many other things. Because he thinks that uh, he thinks that we should learn the lessons of slavery and not allow dehumanizing oppression to dominate. To slavery I think it's similar. People? I think it's well, similar. Absolutely nothing to do. Can I explain how? Explain how? Yeah. Um, explain how? Explain to me the similarities, and then I'll show sure. you how you're wrong. Okay, happy to. You call yourself an abortionist? Or uh, an or ab abolitionist? abolitionist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The opposite of abortionist. <laughs> It is ridiculous, and it feels like y'all have way too much free time to be 
thinking about dead babies all day. That's got to be rough. But then you're probably like, oh, but what about the dead babies? They just got killed for no reason because people didn't want to take care That's of them. At the end of the day, so much bad shit happens. Is this really what you're going to focus your shit on stopping? What, a million, the, a million dead babies a year? Not bad enough for you? I don't, I don't even like kids that much. Shit. Okay. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe the problem is you. Maybe Probably, your heart's full of murder. I don't give a damn about this shit. Well, I know. There's also a lot of people who are on my side, too, so... Maybe not my side, but... I also feel like telling a woman what to do with her body is... As a, just a couple of... I just have some questions, questions on here, you know? So, like, what if I just don't believe? I have, like, religion at all, you know? And there's, like, a lot of other people out there. And I'm not, like, bashing or nothing, you know? Everybody's got their rights to do whatever yeah. and their freedom to do whatever. And, you know, like... Christianity is not even a thing over in India, you know? Yeah, oh, like, I mean, Damn not near, probably. It's the minority over there. Huh? It's the minority in India. There's some. There's some, but, you know, not compared to all so the other religions. If, you're, that if you want to compare... And it's just like, you know, I mean, I don't know. Everyone believes different wherever they go, yeah. you know? And it's just like, I don't know, with my, like, my worldly experiences and what I've experienced in my life, it's just like... So, are you, are you taking care of all these babies? Things, like, for me that something like that is out there, you know? I believe in a higher source of power. I believe in a higher source of power, but not just, like, Christ and God, or, you know, like, Hinduism and shit like that. I believe in a higher power, I just don't know what it is. Yeah. I feel like nobody knows Every what it is. Every trying to find a deeper meaning. Well, yeah, and that's understandable, and that's what makes people comfortable, yeah, and yeah. feel completed and happy, well, I think and gives that's something, closure. I think it's something you know? good, like, we're all different things. Yeah, you know? right, exactly. And so, like, but just my thing is, way. just like, I, I feel like nobody knows what it is. And, you know, it's like we're all like, if, you, right if you're comfortable with what you believe in, then fucking go for it, you know? Like, Can I show this with you to read when you get it? You don't have to read it right now, but right, if you're willing yeah. to take it and read but it, see, whatever like, you want. My thing is, so you love your neighbor and interact with everyone. A I think gay so. man, transgender man. Do yeah, I believe so for yeah, you? Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I love them. Cool. So that's awesome. Well, that's nice to know. I know men who are, I know men who are, you know, have homosexual desires. Yeah. Um, some well, resist them more than others. Actually, what do you, what do you think about the men who are just like completely just full blown, you know, like sucking dick, taking dick up the butt, you know, like. But it's cool. Like right in front of me, or well, like, not right or like you, last but night. Just like at their house. I mean, a couple. Their neighbor. Your neighbor. Yeah. You know, they have. You look well, I mean, is that all they want to talk about with me? You know, like. Uh, huh? it, well, I guess. You make I guess a it, point. That, like, if you're. With I'm not. I'm, yeah. You don't even gotta talk to the dude. Would you oh. hate him? No, no, I love him. Okay. I, I have a friend. I have a friend like that. When I when I first met him, do you love him in a way that's that good. like you don't that's respect good. what they're doing, but like you respect them as a person type of thing? Yeah. So you don't okay. agree with them being a homosexual, but you will respect them as a person. Right. Engaging in homosexual yeah. sex. Yeah. Exactly. That's a sin. Right. It's hurtful to them. Yeah, and it's bad. Yeah. I guess. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, that's I don't want. I don't want my friends. You know, people I love. I don't want to be bad. I would think it's really stupid and arbitrary. If God thought the end of the day you would go to heaven, like you wouldn't be like, hey, like what you're doing is wrong. Could I suggest it to them? With it, um, like in the course of a conversation, would that be not, okay with you? Without like hurting their feelings, you know, not like you don't want to hurt. Their That's probably under their control, not mine. You know. Oh yeah. Definitely. <laughs> I mean, it is under their control to get. No, I mean like um, I didn't mean that. I meant like to to have their hurt feelings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if I speak to them with respect. Yeah. And you know, I'd be like, um, hey, do you mind if I share with you a couple of things? You know, and like we're having a conversation. Yeah. yeah. And if like in the course of that respectful conversation, if their feelings get hurt or whatever, then yeah. they get upset. You know, then yeah. right. that does, uh, it's maybe not under my control in that case. Okay. You know? uh, awesome. Cool. I understand what you're saying. Sure, we have to get to you in a sec. Huh? Yeah. Oh, she said she had a question. Do you have uh, any? Okay. Yeah. Just well, anything else that you wanted to uh, talk about? Real quick? I was just like. I like talking know, to you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm not trying to be a dick. So. I can tell. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, understand. Uh, I understand like you're really thinking, and you know, I'm cool with it. You know, it doesn't hurt me or nothing. It doesn't. I don't think it really should hurt anybody out here. I mean, you know, maybe like the dead baby is a little bit of a far crush, you know. Because we got like, we got a couple kids out here. Not like kids, I mean like, not like a literal kid, child out there. But we have like, you know, some students here who are like 17 really, or whatever. Well, no, like 17, like um, intellectually disabled students. Oh, yeah. And they haven't really been like exposed to something like no. that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, my uh, my seven year old my seven year old daughter has Down syndrome. Yeah. Okay. Um, so as a result, you know, God has been growing a heart for people with Down syndrome yeah. in, in me. And I've met a couple of them here on campus. Yeah. They have proven obviously I don't obviously I you know speak speak slowly and you know yeah. clearly and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. 
they have remarkable love in their hearts. Yeah, people, they do. You know? And they yeah. they have compassion for like the victims of this of this uh, oppression, okay. the abortion oppression. And I, I mean, think they see it for what it is. Well, you know? can I? I want to say something real yeah. quick. Look, so my aunt. I mean, you know. Um, for me, I don't really mind. It doesn't really bother me, especially within like cases of uh, like rape or uh, if like you know the baby is just not gonna make it. You get what I'm saying? Like you don't want. I don't know. If I was a woman, I don't think I'd want to give birth to like a dead baby. You know, like especially if it's already going to die or be dead. You know, like that's pretty. It's pretty hardcore. It's pretty fucked up. You know, and uh, but uh, I mean my aunt. My aunt's a crackhead, and uh, she's had her fair share of abortions. Obviously, I don't think you should have, like, abortion after abortion after abortion and use that as, like, your fucking way of child support, you know? There's other things out there. There's, you know, hormone blockers. There's pills you can take. There's bars you can get. Or not, like, like you know, metal rod bars and stuff. And, you know, to each their own, I feel like. But what my thing is, like, look, man, my aunt was a full-blown crackhead. I'm talking, like, giving head to fucking semi-drivers for money, you know, like, Sir, fucking man. disgusting, right, what if she would have gave birth to a baby, and she gonna carry around that baby to all these motherfuckers doing drugs, you know, like, that baby would have been way more fucked up than what it had coming, you get what I'm saying, yeah. or maybe, hopefully, I, no, I totally understand what you're saying, like, I just you know, don't, I just I don't think, that would have been my cousin, that would have been my first cousin, yeah. and like, I think know, that, like, I think that love can overcome, I hope so. I think and the she, answer she, is love. She did end up having a she ended up having a child, but that child had I mean my cousin, she's got multiple disability or not disabilities, but she's got like scoliosis of the back. She was born addicted to drugs and all that crazy stuff. And it's like, you know, that fucking sucks for a baby. You know, like what baby is supposed to be born addicted to drugs? None. none. Absolutely none. And you know, I, I think you know her having, and my mom paid for these abortions. But even like, you know, like we're pretty close knitted. Even though she did the things in her life that she did, and we weren't happy with it, you know, you still gotta love and a, you know, know that she's still a person beyond what she does. You get what I'm saying? I, I just don't think that the answer. There, there's gonna be a lot of answers to help somebody like that. Yeah. But the answer is not let's just kill the kid. Okay, you know, I, I think that's that's always, but it's not even a last resort. Like it's just something that we can't we can't go there, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, look, man, she might have she might have could have killed the kid herself. She would yeah. she wouldn't give a fuck. She would have still been yeah, shooting yeah. up yeah. while she was still pregnant. I mean, she's gone. She's cleared now. Like yeah. she hasn't done those that's drugs cool. in years. She's just yeah. hoping my cousin get raised and with her baby and stuff like that. So she's she's in a good space now. She's a good person now. She's clean of all of her you know, old habits and, you know, stuff like that. But it's just like, you know, I I think that's sort of like a fair case of scenario too, is like, you know, you don't want a baby to be born into something like that, you know? Well, that's, that's, that's just my just, case Just scenario. measure it against the other, like, the many alternatives to that content, to that situation. But like, what we have to ask ourselves is, okay, so we perceive that there might be, few, that there will be future difficulties for this baby, maybe really severe ones. Yeah. You know? But does that mean that it's better to just go ahead and offer them now? And I think that the answer to that is always no. We always got to give life a chance. Yeah. You know? Okay, I understand. Like, we don't have authority to go around ending people's lives just because we think that they're not, like, up to our standards of quality of life, you know? And you're, so with that, you're including people who are on death row or not? Well, not somebody who forfeited it by, by committing a murderous act on somebody else and, like, are under justice. I'm just talking about, like, innocent people who haven't committed a capital crime. Does that make sense? Yeah, so I get what you're saying. It's like I wouldn't care so much if I came home today and I and I found some dude like raping my wife. Uh, I'd kill him. Kill him. Yeah. And I wouldn't feel bad. For, I mean, I might feel a little bit bad, but yeah. I would feel better. I would be really glad that I was able to rescue my wife from her violent oppressor. You know. Okay. And because he was not an innocent victim, when he attacked my innocent wife, yeah. he forfeited that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, thankfully, there's not that many murders out there. I mean, there's still obviously way too many. Yeah. You know? These children, though, they haven't done anything to anybody. You know, they're just kind of inconvenient. You know what I mean? I get you. I understand. Okay. I get you there. Yeah. I just like Jesus. But see, Jesus has okay. filled me with love for people. You know, but people. in my case, you know, for a person who doesn't believe in necessary Jesus Christ, you know. And um, you know, I'm just 
just going to try to keep it in a portion level, you know, not branch out and talk about the other things yeah. that you may believe in. I that think I that know. I, the like, way that I think about it is that at, at some at some point and early in the conversation, see, like, you have to bring I don't, in more I don't of agree with just getting an abortion, like, you know, especially if you're really, really late into it. I don't know how late it goes. I'm sure you do. I don't know, like, when the cutoff date is. Nobody like knows. In, in Oklahoma, it's really, it's really... Well, it's unclear it, right now. It's dependable because <laughs> yeah. of, like, you know, if the mother's going to die or if the baby's going to die. And I feel like that should be understandable circumstances within, like, a wide group of people, you know? Yeah. I feel like maybe someone like you could come across and understand that, you know, well, shit, if this baby's going to come out dead and it's 100% they know that, then why would they make her go through with all the rest of it, you know? I'm just questioning whether they know that. Nobody knows exactly when somebody's going to die but, until they die, you know? Miracles ultrasounds. sometimes happen. You can tell through ultrasounds, can you not? Well, if, if they're already dead, you can tell. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, if they're dead, that's not an abortion, you know, because they already died. Okay. Nobody's, nobody's got a problem with that, you know. Um, I'm just talking about there's a live baby. Maybe the baby's sick. Maybe but the baby is severely handicapped. I, I just don't think that means we can shoot him in the face, essentially. Well, no, they're not shooting him in the face, either. Well, they're ripping him, they're ripping okay. him to shreds with a scalpel. Same thing. Yes. Yeah. I just don't think that we answer, like, severe handicaps with execution. Well, I'm not even talking about security. I'm not, I don't believe in that, you know, okay. some of my best friends are autistic down syndrome, some of my best friends can't even walk. Yeah, so, nice, nice. Um, I don't believe in getting an abortion because you have an autistic baby. Hey, man, that's appreciate that. Up. Appreciate that, yeah. Um, yeah. They told me to well, abort my I, baby. No, yeah, I don't think so. Uh, that's not my thing. I don't believe in that at all. But, I mean, like, you know... In some cases, possibly, like, you know, you've seen other people, like, you know, sort of just, you can't really do anything, absolutely nothing, can't talk, can't eat, can't wipe their own ass, you know, like, my, my case is, you know, is if I, if I can't get like that, if I can't eat my own food by myself, if I can't wipe my own fucking ass, I'm gonna kill myself. Like, when I get to that point of age, like, I mean, that's how I think now. I don't know if I'm going to think that when the time comes. Yeah. But that's how I feel now about the situation. Because yeah. I'm a very independent person, you know? But, like, let's say there's, you know, especially when around the time that I was born, like, 2000-ish, you know, that was more high in popularity. If You know, if you had, if you had a kid that, you know, that wasn't going to be able to walk, talk, look, yeah. hear, that they would just kill them, you yeah. know? Right. And... I'm, you know, that's pretty fucked up, but at the same time, to, like, put that on a parent, you know, to, that they're going to have to do that for the rest of their lives, their whole lives, you know? That's, I mean, that's a pretty big thing. I guess they're, the thing we would have to say is, like, work. yeah, I mean, in that in that situation, like, all we can, all I can do is offer sympathy and, and assistance, you know, and, like, try to come that alongside them. so much, my man. Right, you I know, know, I know. Not gonna, you're the not thing is, there what I'm trying to say is that, like, God put them in that situation for a purpose. And when you're talking about, you know, if you were to get to a place where you were thinking, where you were going to, like, you know, kill yourself or whatever, I would obviously encourage you not to do that. But I understand that. at least that was that. your choice, Yeah. you know, and not somebody else who chose it for you, which is what's happening in these abortions. Okay. You know what I mean? I understand. I get what you're saying. I mean, so maybe, maybe you could say, well, the baby will never be able to even make choices. Yeah. That may be, but let's at least find out. Okay. You know but then you're going to, what, you're going to kill it when it comes out the womb? No. But then what are you going to do? Are you going to give it to someone else? No. You're going to give him life. You're going to love him. I think God makes, I think God helps us to love even the weak and the most, well, and the yeah, most helpless. Well, yeah, and I love all those people too, you know what I'm saying? But like, fuck man, if my kid came out like that, I'd be fucking, I would You'd be bummed. I mean, not only would I be bummed, but my whole life would be would changed. Would you stab him in the, the heart? Whole, no. But my whole, my whole future of my life would be changed. My whole, everything I thought that I was going to yeah. do is probably flush down the toilet. Have you ever heard of them? Um, no, I'm not talking just for autism yeah. and Down syndrome. Right, right. I'm no, talking serious about stuff, like serious, serious stuff. like. There's a, my favorite like, verse in the New Testament is in the Book of Romans, chapter eight, and it says that for those who love God and who are called according to His purpose, God works all things together for their good, even terrible suffering. Okay. And what you're proposing is a terrible suffering situation that I can't even understand. Yeah, yeah. I can't, I mean, I can't to. either. I've only seen it, but I, I've never lived it. I know that I God, God is able. I hope to God I never live it either, you know? Right. Exactly. Like, I'm just saying that God is able to, like, work a miracle, yes, and even, like, daily miracles, plural, where we think that we, we have no strength and no possibility of, of, like, bringing anything good out of this terrible situation that we're in, and yet we cry out to God, and He will help us. Okay. 
he is he is faithful to help us. He is able to help us, and he's willing to make us humble people who depend on him and who like wait for him to pour out grace and miracles. Like he he does that. I don't know. Yeah. No. And I believe that he does do that for his believers. Yeah. You know, like it may, it's not gonna be the same for me because yeah. I'm not in that like suffering situation. You know. So these miracles that somebody else might see, I'm not gonna see them because I'm not in. Like, God d didn't decide to put me in that terrible yeah. suffering, probably because he thought I was too wussy. You know? <laughs> yeah. He's like, this dude cannot handle it, you know? Okay, so I'm going to give him healthy children instead. Right. But, like, somebody else, if they can put their faith in God, man, there's such beauty that can come out of providing for the needs of somebody who's helpless. Much more beautiful than some billionaire giving $100 million, which is like a drop in the bucket, yeah. you know, to build something. Yeah. You know? It's beautiful in God. God's sight to... To, to love our neighbor and to carry out love for the helpless and the most broken and most oppressed. You know? That's something that God sees and God will give a reward and God will give grace for it. But we can't see that. Like, you and I are not going to see that you know, until we're there. And even if we were friends with that person and they're like, dude, let me tell you about these 20 miracles that God did this month. They can just tell us about them and we'll be like, whoa. But did it really impact us like that? Yeah. No. That's what I'm saying. We, we didn't live it, you know? Yeah. I just think we can trust God with that stuff. Instead of dealing death, let's deal in love. Yeah. You know? And that's like the same thing I would say to somebody who deals with homosexuality. Like my friend, my friend Badr, who's a Moroccan, I met him in Spain. And he had, like, he was literally like, um, uh, was that? he was literally like having people over to his apartment when, um, when we met, like the, the, the week before, for like drug-fueled orgies. Yeah. Men. Like multiple men, lots of, you know, lot, lots of homo orgies going on. Yeah. Okay? And he told me that. I was like, okay, you want a coffee? Yeah. And, like, we're right. talking, you know? And I'm like, look, obviously I don't agree with that behavior, you know? But, like, you're a person made in God's image. Yeah. And I think that's hurting you. And he saw it. There was this, like, there's like the, the letting go of it that's well, hard. Well, I mean, like, you know? if you're having drug filled orgies, yeah. Like, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be hurtful, you know? But, I mean, you know, I feel like, I mean, that's. Yeah, that's pretty fair. Hell yeah, that's hurtful. I mean, you're doing drugs and having a lot of undertaking sex. You're good. So, that one's too light. It keeps falling. Yeah, over. no, it's you're just fine. a little puff. Yeah, yeah, little yeah you're good. I understand. Um, I mean, fuck yeah, drug field orgies are going to be pretty hurtful. Pretty hurtful, yeah. I mean, yeah. He, regardless if you're gay or not. But, I mean, so... Would you be able to be? Would you be able to be his friend if you didn't talk to him about that stuff? Like, would you have been able to be his friend without, like, let's say, all right, like me and you have been talking this whole time. I feel like we're pretty cool. Yeah. I. You lose something. Sunglasses. Jesus is like the best thing in my life. He's the foundation. He's everything to me. And if my friend were thinking straight, I'd be like, you waited a year? Yeah. I thought we were friends. <laughs> and you didn't tell me about the most important guy, person to you yeah. this whole time. I get you introduced it. me to your wife. I understand, <laughs> yeah. I understand what you're saying. Imagine, imagine I kept, oh, you know, I'm not, I'm not married. I kept that hidden yeah. from him, you know. And then, no, we're totally it. friends. We're genuine friends. By the way, yeah. a year later, I'm married. Right. You know, and I have children, and I have all this thing that I've never told you about. You know, he'd be pissed. Yeah. What are you talking about? You know, my friend. Yeah, yeah, he'd be confused. You're like, what, are you, what am I a project to you? Yeah. You know, I understand. I just think we need to be authentic. You know, and Jesus authentically saved me, and he's like, he literally is the the, the center of my life, and I just want to yeah. 
be real about that. That's huh? okay. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's fair. It's how everybody should be, but what they feel like is important in their lives. Yeah. Well, cool. Hey, can I know your first name? Tanner. Tanner? Yeah. I was just talking to another, another Tanner. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. He's exactly your age. He had pink shoes on, like him. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. That's, that's oh, Tanner right there. Yeah. Cool. I was gonna say, damn, I have a pair of pink shoes too. Yeah, you can get some. I was gonna say, it could have been me. I just appreciate cool. how he's secure enough to wear his pink shoes. Yeah, right. I on. admire that. Um, <laughs> well, cool. You pretty much answered everything I have about this subject. I don't want to bring you into other subjects because cool. this one. Yeah, whatever you want. I mean, I'm, I'm here for here yeah. for a while. Yeah, definitely. I took the day off work too. So oh yeah. Enjoy the nice weather. Cool. Rock on. What nice do you stuff. do? IT stuff. IT? You're not going to like me for what I do, so. Do you write code? Huh? Do you write code that I didn't have to troubleshoot? No, 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 no. <laughs> I, did, I did something you're actually not going to like. Oh, what's that? I grow medical marijuana. I actually kind of <laughs> like marijuana. <laughs> I, really? appre I appreciate. Oh, shit, huh? I don't think it should be done recreationally, really, but I don't well, think it should I be a crime. I don't really think it should be recreational either. I'm, I'm against it uh, being criminalized. Is that, is that helpful? Yeah. That's awesome. Like, politically so, speaking, I'm very, I believe that there should be few laws. Of, you're one of the type of guys that I'm pretty cool with. Uh, I'm not really, like, I don't know. Um, area where I live, and, like, this area in general is, like, um, I don't know, like, their form of, like, Christianity, I feel, is a little bit older, old school, uh -huh. you know? Uh -huh. Like, completely compel everything. Like 80s Republican type yeah, stuff? Yeah, you know, that's, like way too far blown Christianity, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, they don't say some shit like, um, Jesus loves all, but if you're gay, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I say that's, that's not that's going so far enough. I think they got stuck somewhere, and they just, they forgot to continue reading their Bibles the way I look at them. Okay, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's definitely what's going on with like, some people. You I, was telling, um, I was telling them. I was telling them. You're one of the more free based guys. It was Sydney. So that's cool. Sydney was Even talking to me here. before. That's fine. Yeah. yeah um, so Sydney said yeah. that she's uh, pansexual. She just kind of yeah. put that out there. And um, we were having to talk about how, like, so often in kind of the political and media driven discourse, like, if you're gay and you're like a right wing extremist, then you guys, like, have got to be pointing guns at each other all the time. Right, you know? literally. And I don't think that has to be the case. I just I think that, I mean, I'm not right wing for one either. thing. Oh, well, yeah. But, like, let's just, can we just talk? Yeah, you know? that's I think how that we can I talk. Am. I want to talk. I like to talk. And I believe that I believe that the message of Jesus overcomes those objections or whatever. And you, you, you may not agree, and that's fine. You know, but I believe that, and so yeah, that's why that's I believe fair. in the power of you communication. What you believe, man. Yeah. But like I was saying earlier, like when I first started talking to you, I was like, you know, like people have the freedom to believe whatever they want to believe. You know what I'm saying? Like this Christianity and all that isn't even popular over there on the other side of the world. You know what I'm saying? So like. They believe in a whole different, like, I don't, I don't even know. Yeah. Buddha, Hindu, whatever stuff it is, I don't, I don't really, you know, it's not really popular here as it is over there. So, you know, I know more about Christianity just from, like, being in America and, you know, having conversations with people like you, people my neighbor and stuff like that, you know. But, yeah, see, that's another thing. My neighbor, uh, my neighbor is a, a guy who freaking, you know, totally hates gay people, right? For Just because they're gay. You know, won't even look at them like they're human. But his wife, um, I live in the suburbs, but his wife has alopecia. You know what that is? Where you can't grow hair, period. Yeah. Uh, it's a sin to get tattooed, isn't it? Mm, not necessarily. Not necessarily? I thought it was a sin to um, have like foreign foreign holes in your body and stuff I like would, that. I wouldn't agree with that. Well, other, other older schoolers, right? Old, I mean, obviously a lot of other people do think it's a sin, but I wouldn't but, agree. But, see, look, see, they're, they're shifting it to where they, they, it promotes them. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, we don't like gay people. They're not in our family. Right. Like, we don't accept gay people. They made a tribe. But, but my wife has a tattoo of eyebrows on her face because she has alopecia. She oh, can't yeah. grow eyebrows. Yeah. So she got her eyebrows tattooed on her, uh -huh. which is fair. Like, you know, like, people with breast cancer get nipples tattooed and stuff like that, you know, to make them feel better about themselves, you know, and that's totally fair. I'm all for it. But you're bending what you believe to make it to where your wife isn't committing a sin, you know? You get what I'm saying? They're bending their beliefs or their, their beliefs to what they want 
you know, it to pair out to. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Yes. And that's like so broken. Like that's not how you believe. That's not how you worship. That's not how you, you know, that's not fairness. Jesus condemned you know that kind of stuff. Huh? Jesus explicitly condemned that kind of stuff. What? Like like that hypocrisy. Yeah, and that's how a lot of people are, I feel like. Or a good amount of people. At least yeah. like ones on Facebook yeah. and shit. Or not well like, you know, I don't know, like a daily mail and stuff like that. I'm going rambling about it. I just said, but like, like yeah, we need to be careful like with hypocrisy in our, in our own lives. Like, you know? like yeah. hypocrisy is dangerous for everybody. Definitely. And um, Jesus condemned hypocrites for their hypocrisy. And I would, the one thing that I would suggest is like, if we talk about human rights, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and freedom, and all that kind of stuff, in America, you know, in the American context, and we'll call out atrocities of the past, yes. like the Indian, like the Trail of Tears, for example. Yeah. Would be a good example. Yeah. So Andrew Jackson, complete, you know, pile of dog crap, yeah, yeah. terrible person, right? And I believe he's burning in hell. Yeah. Okay. So we condemn someone like him for his terrible atrocities that committed, and yet when we're standing in the in the middle of an atrocity and a barbarous like oppression as well in our time, and if we ignore it, then I think that we are guilty of the same thing that Andrew Jackson's yeah. contemporaries were, and I want to avoid that that hypocrisy. So I think it's something that we all really need to think about, especially as Americans, because God's not going to hold us guiltless for our hypocrisy in that regard. Okay, I get you. We need, we need Jesus to forgive us for that. Yes, sir. I understand. The beautiful thing about Jesus is that He's very forgiving. He will. Yes. If we repent. Yeah. You know? But if we don't, then He's not. Okay. You know? Um, so... Uh, it's gonna be a little gross, touchy. But you were talking. I you mean, you were talking. Things, yeah, you already talked to me about it already. You were telling me about like if you know you came home, saw someone doing some terrible stuff to your wife, that you would kill them, right? Okay, you would kill that person regardless. Don't give a damn. I, I can't say that I wouldn't give a damn, but I. <laughs> well, I mean, like, reg- you, like what I mean is you don't give a damn. Is like you don't like nothing stopping you. Like right. you're set in stone gonna kill that. Probably. Guy. You know what I'm saying? Probably. I, you just told me earlier that yeah. you would. I, I'm trying to think. You, I mean, I've never told been in that situation. Me, you literally told me just a couple minutes ago that if you went right. home, saw a man raping your innocent wife, right. you would kill him because it values out because he is committing a uh, attack on an innocent right. person, making him not innocent no more. I think it, I think it would be morally permissible for me to kill him. Yes. I'm just trying to think that there. It's possible. That if let's, I were to, let's say that I'd like tried to deliver a killing blow just to just to tell you what I was thinking. It, let's say I, I got a hammer or something, and I, yeah. I deliver a killing blow, but I didn't quite kill him. He's incapacitated, yeah. and now he like starts blubbering and begging and crying like a like a little yeah, a little girl, you know, like, stuff. A little girl or whatever. Yeah. Could I then hit him again? I'm not sure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's fair. I understand. But that. I wouldn't kill. But, like morally, I think I'd be totally justified in killing him. Yes. Okay, but no. Le- okay, so back to like that whole sticky situation. So let's say like, boom, he didn't or he got away raped your wife, implemented his seed into your wife, and she were to get pregnant, what would you do? How would you feel? What would you do? What would you think? Like with the baby? Yeah. That is not yours. Right. That is a total fucking horror show of a baby. You know, like not the baby itself is not a horror show, the but the way it happened, the situation, the sex or whatever, it's not even sex. Right. That's not even sex at all. That's great. That's not even a form of sex. That's a total no-go. Yeah. But... I, I want to know how you would feel. That's something I've been trying to like talk to him about, yeah. but I think he's a little bit more uh, on the far end than you. I don't know. Now I've I'm, talked to him a couple I, times. I think that we would agree on basically everything. Okay. I? Um, he's not married, so he's not maybe married. I'm better to ask. Okay, yeah. Um, but probably. I would, under zero circumstances, would I ever consider aborting a child. Why I, would you if your wife wanted to? Because she, she wouldn't. She wouldn't want to. Oh, but even if she did, fuck. so let's say Holy she did though, shit. like hypothetically, let's say she did. You okay. know what, I'm what I would do is plead with her for the like legally speaking, I wouldn't have any, like, I wouldn't yeah, have any way do, to do anything. You don't have you know? what? I wouldn't have any way to do anything legally. Well, yeah, you know? no, you don't have a voice because like, you're not the bearer the of the. I'm well, the you don't have a voice to the government because you're right. not the bearer of the child. Right. So okay. legally speaking, I couldn't like physically stop her. You know what I'm saying? No. But let's say that she did want to abort. Okay. Okay. I would plead with her. Not to. And plead and plead ceaselessly. Yeah, every day. Every day. And um, every opportunity. Yes. And even when she went to like, the even clinic. up to the moment that she was yeah. like walking in or taking the pill or whatever, I'd still be pleading with her not to because I believe that God would work a beautiful thing out of that child, despite the terribleness of the sin that brought 
his life about or her life about. Okay. I don't think the baby's guilty. No, no, I don't either. The man's guilty. Yes. And I don't think that we solve this terrible oppression by but dealing yeah. out oppression against somebody else. Don't you feel like that would, like, so you would keep the baby? Like, okay, so yes. let's say that you would keep the baby and that she was cool or, or not cool, but that she would she just keep it. the baby. Yeah. yeah, accepted it, you know, not really, like, all for it, but had to come to terms and accept it, right? right? Would you adopt, would you let it be adopted or would you keep it? I'd keep it. You would keep it. And now uh, for her. Let's say, all right, I'm the, I don't know how she would say it or how she would feel, like, I'm not my fucking wife, but what if she was, like, okay, no, what she'd be like, what if she felt like this baby, like, every time she looked at it, she would get sick to her stomach, she would fucking just flashbacks of being assaulted and stuff like that, would that not hurt you? Yes, sir. That would hurt you?